So I typically use the sugar-free hazelnut creamer. Each tablespoon has 15 calories, so that goes pretty well with my macros. So I just do three tablespoons. I like a lot of creamer. All right, so I just woke up looking all kinds of crazy. I look forward to this coffee when I go to bed at night. Like This is so delicious. It's just the favorite part of my day. So when I sit here and drink my coffee, I usually just go through my emails and make a list of things I need to do throughout the day um, to get done. So that's all I'm gonna do right now. Mm. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to put our first food into our macros calculator in my fitness pal. I'm gonna click my fitness pal and it's on my diary already. So I will show you my macros real quick. So this is from my man's recommendations. Um, he works at the gym and he was a personal trainer for a, a pretty long time. He knows what he's doing. He competes in um, bodybuilding competitions and everything. So this is what he gave me for my current um, wedding weight loss goals. So right now I am eating 146 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbs, and 51 grams of fat. So when you choose your macros, it's just proteins, carbs, and fats. That's really what I'm really looking at. And all these macros add up to 1300 calories. I eat whatever I want to eat in a, in a day. It just, as long as they fit within these macronutrients, then we're good. I usually eat the same breakfast every day. So I'm just gonna swipe over and add it. But um, just for right now, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to just add what I just ate. So I'm just gonna add the food. All right, so it's sugar-free hazelnut, three tablespoons. And I have it already at three tablespoons. It says it's one serving size, so you just change the serving size. I changed it to three because I had three. And it's 45 calories, six grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and no protein. And so now I have 45 and I have that much remaining, okay? And then if you wanna check how much macros you have remaining, which I do often throughout the day, just make sure this, hey, can I eat this? You know, blah, blah. Look on nutrition, and it says I've used six grams of carbs and nothing else. Oh, and three grams of fat. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, finish looking at my emails, and then I'm gonna take Luna out for a walk, and then I'm gonna make breakfast. So we will be right back. All right, so I have all of my little ingredients here. And first we're gonna start off with turkey bacon. So I use this uh, Ginny O turkey bacon. Um, it's already cooked. These are the macros. It has 30 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, no carbs, and two grams of protein. I do eat two slices every day, um, and it just gives me like a little meat to my breakfast. So I'm gonna heat up my pan. And I always use um, some type of zero calorie spray, avocado, oil has 120 calories per tablespoon and I don't have room in my macros for this. So I use a zero calorie um, coconut oil as opposed to avocado oil. While that pan heats up, I'm going to um, prepare my vegetables. So I am making an omelet today, so let's just get started. But first I have these mushrooms, so yummy, and they're already chopped. Uh, I'm gonna move on to onion, I love onion. Um, this is just from strawberries. I made just them for breakfast, so we're good. I should have got a bigger knife. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to tomatoes. I don't have a tomato knife. I put it on my wedding registry, okay? So whoever sees it, I need a tomato knife. We'll let that sizzle. We're gonna move on to cilantro. Okay, so now I have an avocado. So I only eat half a serving of avocado, so I only need 15 grams. So I think 15 grams is like that much. And I'm gonna pop that bad boy on there. I want 15 grams. Ooh, 14. Perfect, okay. So while I have the scale here, I'm going to measure one serving of this Mexican style cheese, which is 28 grams. Oh, 32, too much. There we go. Okay. So those are the only two things I'm going to measure because everything else is vegetables. I honestly don't count vegetables in my macros because they're so um, insignificant in calories. The air that you get while you're stirring makes the eggs fluffy. So I always do this for scrambled and omelet. Can you smell this through the camera? It smells so good. Let it sit. 
for a sec. I learned how to make an omelet in high school um, cooking class. You want every bite to have cheese. So make sure you spread it out. And then see what we got cooking underneath. Looks pretty good, a little bit crispy. But I'm gonna flip it. Ooh, look at that, it looks so nice. Voila. This gets me really full to have lots of vegetables on top and it's very low in calories, so that's the goal, right? And voila, we have our finished product. This one looks so good, yum. Obviously I haven't gotten ready yet or anything, but um, yeah. So this is my yummy, yummy breakfast. If you guys watched my hot sauce video with Justin, um, usually I like to put that um, Torchbearer zombie sauce, I'll link it down below. Um, it's so good. I used it, so we bought it during that, when we made that video, and I used it all up like a week ago, right? The other day I went to World Market to go buy some more and it was sold out and I'm so sad. So right now I'm using Tapatio, which is, you know, one of my faves, but it's not the same, okay? If you're gonna make this, I would use a Torchbearer zombie one. Mm. But yeah, I just... So I've been trying really hard to drink more water. I am not a water person. I wish I was, but um, I have to have a full of ice, really cold. But I'm just gonna add some lemon. Let's talk about the macros in this meal. So this total meal, including my three, you know, tablespoons of creamer, is 434 calories, okay? So for the rest of the day, that leaves me with 886 calories. Um, if we want to look at the macros for my breakfast, this is 29 grams of protein, pretty good, yeah. Um, 8 grams of carbs, pretty good, hardly any carb in here. Uh, and 32 grams of fat, so it's mostly fat. I have one... A cheat meal a week and so if I'm having a cheat meal that day I know it's probably gonna be high in fat and high in carbs so I'm gonna want a high protein breakfast um, so I wouldn't go for this fatty breakfast on a cheat day but um, if I know I'm gonna if I know what I'm going to eat later in the day is not really high in fat um, then I can eat this breakfast um, I have been eating um, this same meal that I'm gonna show you today um, every day for a while because um, it's so delicious um, if I want like more protein and carb breakfast, I'll go with um, uh, protein pancakes. I'll show you, or maybe I'll just show you a different video. So right now I'm re-watching How to Get Away with Murder. I did not know there's this many seasons. I think I stopped on season three or four. But there's like six seasons, six seasons I think. All right, so every day I eat the same breakfast, so it's very easy. I showed you earlier there was like a swipe right to add yesterday's breakfast and so that's what I did just now. Um, so yeah, I had three eggs, uh, 15 grams of avocado, two pieces of turkey bacon, three tablespoons of um, creamer, and uh, 28 grams of Mexican shredded cheese. That was 434 calories and you can just scroll down and go to nutrition. And it shows you how many you use so far of each macro and then how many uh, you have left over here and what your goal is, okay? I can fill out some of it for the rest of the day and that'll help me choose uh, my dinner. My breakfast and my lunch are pretty much always the same but my dinner is always different. I need to fill out as much as I can so I can know what I can eat for dinner. So I know later that I'm going to have a protein shake. So I'm just going to eat, enter some almond milk, which I'll show it to you guys later. But, um, and my protein powdered. So I use two scoops of protein because it's really hard for me to get protein. I don't really like eating meat that much. And so um, my protein shake is very important. Um, it's 270 calories and it has uh, 48 grams of protein. So that's 79% of my total protein for the day. So this is really important for me uh, to drink. So I know for lunch what I'm going to have. So I'm just gonna enter in I'm going to have a, a whole can of tuna, so two servings. And oh my gosh, can you see that tuna is so good for you because it's literally 26 grams of protein, no fat and no carbs. So it's just straight protein. Hey, I didn't say I'm perfect. Uh, I'm not like the most healthy eater ever. I'm trying, you know, but um, this fits in my macros and they're so good. So they're these toasted chips by Ritz. 
And I'm gonna have one full serving of it. It's mostly carbs, but I do shouldn't be afraid to eat carbs, so I do need them, so that's okay. I can eat the 19 grams of carbs. It's delicious, okay? So um, with that in the tuna, I know that I add some mayo. And I only add about that much, so a third of a serving. I don't add mustard in here, even though I do add it because mustard has no calories, but I do add some relish. So my lunch that I have almost every day is 262 calories. It's opposite of my breakfast. My breakfast was high in fat. My lunch is high in protein and carbs, so that's good. So this means for dinner and snacks for the rest of the day, I have 42 grams of protein left, 28 grams of carbs left, and seven grams of fat left. So I should not have a high fat dinner. So um, I will decide later what I want to eat for dinner. So I just finished film it, filming and I'm so hungry. And I'm going to have, like I said earlier, I'm gonna have some tuna and some um, Ritz crackers. Okay, Ritz toasted chips and sour cream and onion flavor. So they are, you get 20 grams or 12 chips for 130 calories. 6 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of protein. Let's measure that out to 28 grams. I'm going to drain this tuna and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take the tuna and I'm going to mix it with these ingredients here. Does it smell good, mama? You want some tuna? Luna loves tuna, huh, mama? Huh. Soft, you're so soft, good girl. So earlier we put in our phone how much of each we were going to have, and so we're just gonna follow that. So I'm just gonna go to my diary. We put one third of 14, so 14 divided by three. About four or five grams of mayonnaise. You might think that's disgusting, well. And then we could put however much mustard we want because uh, mustard has zero calories in it. Anybody else do this mixture or is it just me? <laughs> Am I disgusting? Tell me. So we're gonna have one serving, which is 15 grams. Luna is down here at my feet, like fiending for tuna. Luna loves tuna, huh, baby? All right, so it's pretty late and I'm just now eating my lunch, um, but I did go to the pool earlier and they were having like a breakfast at the pool situation. I didn't eat any of their food, okay? But I did um, have a truly at the pool and so I will put that into my fitness pal later. But um, this is my high protein, high carb lunch. I did just film this look, and so this will probably be up after this video. So yeah, go ahead and look out for that. You see this foot here? It's Justin's foot. I'm just pass it on the couch. Okay, so we just got back from the gym, and this, I guess, is considered my cheat meal because, um, we yeah, got five guys. I think it's pretty um, well deserved after our leg day, so. Um, it's okay to have cheat meals, you know, once a week. Um, like I said, if you're gonna have a cheat meal, then you should eat higher protein throughout the day. I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna have cheat meal today, but you know, it is what it is, it's fine. Um, Justin ordered it while we were at the gym and he handed me the phone with the, with the order on it and I looked at him and I was like this. I love you. Because he ordered me a strawberry milkshake and, uh, okay. Okay, and then, so we get home, and he just brings me a truly, and I'm like, you're trying to fatten me up, huh? <laughs> it's okay, you know, it is what it is. You can treat yourself sometimes. Okay, mmm, oh yeah, mm-hmm, okay, one more. I got a little one, I like little ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll see you guys later. So I apologize if you can hear the dryer in the background, but it's my cleaning day. So anyways, I'm about to have my protein shake and this, these are the ingredients that I have. Sometimes I make a smoothie um, protein shake, but since I am cutting right now, I don't have like very much calories to spare and fruit has a lot of um, carbs in it. Not a lot, but it has carbs in it and sugars, you know, just, so um, I am just making a very simple protein shake. I love this brand, but I don't love this flavor. This flavor is cinnamon French toast, 
and it's not my favorite it's kind of like way too sweet for me which i like sweet things so that's like saying a lot and also i'm very confused because i almost drank this entire almond milk bin uh and i just noticed that it's 60 calories and <laughs> i can't believe i didn't notice that um usually the one i drink is 30 calories per serving so i'm a bit confused but it's okay like it's not that big of a deal it's an extra 30 calories or an extra 60 if i do two servings but um i usually have unsweetened and this is original so um it's usually less calories than this but this is fine it's really important for me to have a protein shake throughout the day to get my protein in because otherwise i'm really not getting it from meats because i don't like eating it that much so i'm gonna have two scoops of this um just to get my protein in for the day since i don't like this cinnamon french toast flavor um i'm going to kind of dilute it with two servings of almond milk which i usually don't do but i can afford to do it today um calorie wise so that's what i'm gonna do like i said this almond milk is not the one that i usually use but it's okay uh, one serving size is 240 mils so hi baby uh, she's so cute okay so i am just going to pour um, until the 250 little dash on the cup see how much see how little that is it's only like this much and i'm gonna have two scoops of protein i'm gonna double the serving size i'm actually just gonna stop at 400 because that looks like enough liquid to me so um i'll just enter that in my face pal as 400 uh, milliliters I like this brand because um, not only it tastes good, well, it's not this flavor. <laughs> I like the strawberry one, by the way. That, that one's really good. I also really like it because it holds the scoop up top, so you don't have to dig for it, you know, and like in other protein powders. And then scoop. Two scoops. Don't forget the ball. So I figured while I'm here, I might as well um, share some low calorie snacks I've been enjoying lately. Okay. So this is Kirkland's or Costco's organic roasted seaweed, and it's so delicious. Ugh. I've been eating these for years. Um, they are really, they are really low in calories. You can eat one fifth of the pack for 20 calories, and it's just really low in everything. So it's just like a, a little snack. It's not super filling, but I mean, like if you need something to snack on, munch on, this is a good option if you like seaweed. They're little seafood snackers, and they're basically imitation crab which I love. Some people probably don't love, but um, I think it's really good. So yeah, I already ate one. <laughs> so yeah, one package is 80 calories. So this is a little more filling and you can wrap these in the seaweed. <laughs> it's like a little sushi roll without rice. It's a different day and I'm going to make dinner now. Uh, this is a really simple and easy dinner to make. Okay. So this is a vegetarian meal. I'm not vegetarian, but um, sometimes I do like to eat like that. It's just going to be like a tofu stir fry. So this is the tofu that I've been really liking lately. It has a sweet teriyaki um, sauce packet on the side, and so it gives a really good flavor. Um, it's called Walk Me Up. <laughs> it says, from fridge to pan to plate in 10 minutes. It's super easy to make, um, and it, you just add vegetables, really. So you get three and a half ounces, or 93 grams, for 130 calories, um, 3.5 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs and eight grams of protein. I just double the serving size of the tofu. It makes me really full, so I'd rather have double tofu than rice. I'm not a huge rice fan, but this one's also super good. It comes in this garlic stir fry. Yum. But today I want teriyaki, so that's what we're gonna do. Normally, tofu, with tofu, you would have to drain it for like 15 minutes, um, but it, it, it is in water, but it says just to pat it dry as much as possible and you're good. So that's a good part about this pre-made one is that you don't have to dry it for like 15 to 30 minutes, like normal to tofu. It just comes like this, like normal, but it's already pre-cut as well, so it's super fast. All right, so I drained a lot of the water out. Oh, man down. I'm gonna just start cooking them. You can use avocado oil, um, but it has calories, like I said earlier, and so I'm just gonna use this um, coconut oil that has zero calories. So we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes until it's golden brown, and then we shall be right back. So like I said, I'm gonna have two serving sizes. One serving size is 3.5 ounces, and so I'm going to have seven ounces. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have 6.2 ounces. So that's really weird. The packaging says there's 3.5 um, servings of 3.5 ounces, but um, there's only six and a half ounces, so I'm a little confused. But okay, I'm gonna eat the whole package. I'm gonna try, it's gonna make me really full. I have this Kirkland stir fry vegetable blend from Costco, and it just has all these goodies in it. One cup or 93 grams is 35 calories, so 
probably have two. I don't know. I'll just eyeball it. Just a little bit so the vegetables don't stick to the pan. So while we wait um, for the vegetables to cook, I'm just going to enter it into my fitness pal. And I'm just going to click the little bar thing. I'm just going to scan the bar. Super easy. It just brings up all the nutrients. I had 6.2, right? So I basically had two servings. You can play around with it if you want to be like very precise. Um, I had a little less than two servings, I suppose. That'd be 6.6. So I'll just say I had one serving and seven eighths. Whatever, right? So I'll push accept. So it says I went over my sodium goal. I'm not too worried about sodium, um, so I don't really care. As long as everything else didn't go over. So um, yeah, that gave me 244 calories, 30 grams of carbs, 6.6 .6 grams of fat and 15 grams of protein. So, um, I'm gonna add um, the vegetable blend. All right, so each uh, serving is 35 calories, seven grams of carbs, zero fat and two protein. I'm probably gonna have two and if it's different, I'll just change it afterwards. So I am going to um, weigh the vegetables. You don't, you obviously don't have to be this strict unless you're on a really strict diet, but girl, it's my wedding, okay? So I'm gonna be trying to be really strict. Um, so I'm gonna weigh my vegetables. Um, not like it's gonna change much, but still. I wanna, you know, keep on track. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's plenty for me. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to finish this whole shebang. I'm just going to put this all in here along with the sauce. So I just got back from a dental appointment. So this side of my face is all numb. I still can kind of not feel it. So if I look funny while I'm talking, that's why. I also just got back from doing cardio. I did Stairmaster for 35 minutes. I burned 350 calories, so they say. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to up it um, as we get closer to the wedding. Um, there's not that much time left. So I'm trying to be super serious about my diet and exercise plan. Um, but yeah, look at this yummy bowl of tofu we have going on. Oh my gosh, yum. <laughs> That is pretty much what I eat in a day um, for the most part. When I'm on a diet, it doesn't change that much. Um, but I definitely do have a lot of different recipes and snacks and breakfasts that I do eat. So if you guys are interested in this type of video, I can definitely do another one. Uh, your girl likes to eat, okay? Okay. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a trainer. Justin is, but I'm not. So me and Justin have been working out together for our I mean, a long time. I've been going to the gym since I was like, 14 I think, um, not consistently and everything, but um, I really started to try really hard, I think uh, two years ago maybe, or four, I don't know. Uh, but it, I, it's only recently that I've been like pretty consistent in the gym. So um, I have been seeing lots of results, maybe a little too much in some areas, okay. Um, during quarantine, I have noticed that I lost a lot of my leg gains, unfortunately. Um, they just look super skinny to me and I'm not into that, I'm not into that look. And so I need to, up my leg days. Um, I before right before quarantine, I had been working with a trainer for January and February, and then you know the beginning of March. And um, she gave me a personalized workout plan, and I was really good at it. I was at the gym every you know every day at least doing cardio, um, and I was you know prepping for the wedding, and then quarantine hit, and then I wasn't doing any of that. Um, but since I was so consistent for like so many years, um, I did keep my gains. So. Um, yeah, just be consistent with everything. If you don't lose weight right after you change your diet, like a week after, two weeks after, even three weeks after, don't be discouraged, it will change. Like seriously, you don't have to eat everything that I'm eating um, and it, it won't work for everybody, you know? So I would just recommend playing around with your macros or seeing a nutritionist. Um, so when I was actually working out with my trainer, she had me eating, let me check. So she had me eating um, a little over 1,500 calories, and I because I was working out a lot, I was doing, I was lifting weights and doing lots of cardio, um, and so I was eating more. And right now I'm eating only 1,300 because I'm not working out as much, um, and I'm trying to cut like seriously <laughs> because I only have like a month, a little over a month uh, before the wedding. So. That's just my little two cents. Um, I kind of fell off my diet a little bit, not gonna, not gonna lie, okay? I ate a little bit crappy, uh, I did a little less cardio, and I went to the gym a little less. So I gained one pound back. So that's what happens. I have to keep myself on track, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I don't look good in a month, okay? Um, you can too. 
But let me know if you guys want workout videos or another one of these, um, what I eat in a day, because your girl got some recipes, okay? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. I will see you guys next time.